to another video if you're new here my name is Kyra do not forget to like comment and subscribe so today we are just going to be getting ready I do hair makeup and outfit and also perfume so if you want to get into this look just keep on watching before we get into this look, I do want to share with y'all my new obsession that I've been obsessed with. I've been spraying it every single day. As you can guess, it is a fragrance. And this is the Mugler Alien Goddess. When I tell you this scent is stunning, it's stunning just like the bottle. I love the message behind this fragrance. It just encourages you to embrace your inner goddess because we all have it. We just got to let it shine through. Before we get into the scent, I just want to show appreciation to the bottle. It's gorgeous. It's a soft golden gradient accented by gold metallic touches of a gen. It's gorgeous. It's stunning. And this has easily became my everyday scent. So I definitely have it on display. Once you spray this, you will instantly smell the spicy jasmine, giving it that sophisticated floral touch. And once this dries down, you'll definitely smell the sweetness of the vanilla, giving it a very gourmand touch. That goddess feminine sweet aroma, which I love. I love the mix of this. It's a beautiful combination. The notes are bergamot essence, jasmine, and bourbon vanilla. Such a gorgeous combination. And like I said, once it dries down, it just smells so good. The longevity is there. It lasts all day. I get endless compliments. And literally, when you spray this perfume, you'll definitely own the room. And it's also just an unforgettable scent. You will definitely leave your mark, honey. Okay. As I said before, I love wearing this on a daily basis. It has definitely became my favorite fragrance at the moment and like I said, I've gotten so many compliments on it It can easily be worn every single day just because it's not overpowering But it still screams. I'm here. I'm a goddess and I'm here to take over So get in touch with your inner goddess and get the Mugler alien goddess And also you'll be able to embroider your name on here Just a little cute little touch for a little customization of the fragrance Also, if you're gifting that to somebody, I think that touch just makes it a little bit more special and like i said before you'll easily be wearing this every single day so i love that they made this refillable because they knew exactly what the girls were going to be spraying this season so make sure you shop the link down below and grab your alien goddess and also you'll be able to use my discount code to save 20 percent off so thank you so much Mugler, for sponsoring this video and let's get into this get ready with me So let's get into the makeup. So the first thing I like to do is use the one size primer. I love this primer. It just makes my makeup stick. It doesn't have my makeup runny and it also gives me that filtered look that I'm going for. So I always start off with my eyebrows and I use the Brow Wiz by Benefit. And I don't go in too heavy on my eyebrows because I really don't like them too thick because I feel like they're thick already. So I don't want to over do it so then i go ahead and add concealer i use the nars radiant concealer and i just add that to my lid as well and i just use what's on the lid combined with the dots that i add underneath and then i go in and blend that out and then i go ahead and set that with the powder before applying eyeshadow and i love this mario palette it's my go-to so i just go in with those two colors and blend that out and then I go in with my wing liner, and my favorite one is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Easy Glide Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. And if you have issues with doing a wing, I suggest this liner. And then I go in with my foundation. This is the Born This Way Matte Foundation. Love this foundation, especially for oily skin. Literally, it will not move. It is the best foundation I have ever used for my skin type. And I also go in with the concealer. And this is in the color vanilla to give me that bright concealed under eye. I love this combination. And then I go in with the Charlotte Tilbury for contour. And then I just go ahead and blend the concealer out first. 
And with my concealer, I like to go up with it because I don't like to bring my concealer down anymore because I don't want my face to look too wide. And throughout my application, I like to go in with the MAC Fix Plus. This is their new formula. When I tell you your makeup will last you till the next day, this is the key secret weapon for sure. Now I'm just blending out that Charlotte Tilbury to give my face a more chiseled look. And then I'm gonna go back in with the foundation brush and blend everything in so it's seamless and there's no harsh lines. So after everything is blended, I like to go in with the one size pressed powder. And this is gonna have your makeup last and give you that filter look. I like to do this before actually baking my face with loose powder. And then I'm going in with my liquid blush, one of my favorite parts to doing my makeup. So then I go back in my Mario palette and one day I forgot my concealer for my nose. So I was like, hey, let me just see if I can use eyeshadow. And it worked and I've been doing it since. So now I'm officially setting my under eyes. So then I go in with the Laura Mercier mixed with the Huda Beauty. And I like to do this with a powder puff and I go in very lightly with the powder and set my under eye. So next I go in with the Sephora Collection Micro Smooth Face Powder. I really love that this gives me a no filter, needed, flawless finish. Then it's time for my favorite part which is blush and this is the Dior Backstage. And then I go in with the Prism Libre by Givenchy. Now this is their pink powder and I just really like to go in with in the T-zone area around my nose to really give me that bright, bright under eye in the middle of my face. And then I go in with the one size mascara. Really like this, it does not bleed. And then I go in with the Dior Backstage Glow Palette. Then I go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in the color Deep Tawny Brown. And this is the oldie but goodie. I still love Max Honey Love. This is literally my favorite lip combination. Then to top it off, I go in with NYX Butter Gloss in the color Fortune Cookie. And that is it for makeup and the face is sitting. Okay, so I just got dressed and I have on this beautiful turtleneck along with this skirt. It's a two-piece set from Cocoots. 
stunning. See, my accessories are gold, channeling my inner goddess. This whole look was inspired by the Mugler alien goddess. I just feel like a goddess right now. I, I feel so beautiful and feminine and sophisticated. We topped off the look with the Mugler alien goddess and it smells so good and stunning i'm definitely going to be owning the room tonight and thank you so much mugler for sponsoring this video and that wraps this up i have to go but i love y'all so much and i'll see y'all in the next one